So now what I'd like you to do is I want you to tell me what the rowing, describe the rowing stroke to me. Okay, start off the finish. Loud, I can't hear you. Yeah. I'll say it in my words, the same thing though, no, pretty much. And there's little differences, but only that's more about emphasis. Uh, sitting at the back, sitting tall, always important. Hands away, fully stretched, like feel the stretch, fully stretched. At half slide, you can check if you're stretched, so you don't have to wait to half slide to be stretched. It's really just, just confirm. And you come into the catch nice and relaxed, and then this is the critical bit, I think, is you put the blade in and you feel for the load. And you take your time. And then when, you feel, when you've got the load, then you push. And so you've got to take time at the catch. Now, let's just do a little weird thing. I don't know if you've done it before. Can you sit at the half slide a bit further and put the oars under your arms? That's it. All right, now I want you to just, just push with your feet a bit. Push about, about, I don't know, about that far. Okay, now come in and push really quickly about that far. Okay, now look at the, what, look at the water and the rigger next to the boat and push hard with your legs. What happens to the boat? Yeah. You knew that really, but it's good to see it because you feel it, okay? What happens if you haven't got the blade in the water and you push hard with your legs? What happens to the boat? What way are we trying to go? <laughs> so, so it's really important to get that connection. Now, even if you put the blade in the water, and you can still hear me all right? Yeah. Even if you put the blade in the water, and you haven't yet connected with the load and you push hard, what's going to happen to the boat? It's going to go backwards. So in a single scale in particular, uh, if you put the power on too early, you're going to push the boat backwards. Okay? You've got to get connected and pick up the load and then you start to accelerate and then you get faster and faster and faster. Okay? Here we'd like to demonstrate how an athlete can slow a boat down by pushing with their legs before the blade's fully connected to the water. As you can see here, the orange line is held stationary, same speed as the boat on average because it's being um, filmed from a, a speedboat next door. And if you watch carefully, you can see that, that when the, before the blade actually gets connected with the water, the boat is pushed back a long way in this case. And so watching it in slow motion, you can see again the line turns up at the start of the leg drive and the boat goes looks like it's going backwards in fact it's just being slowed down significantly because we need to have the athlete wait until the blade is well connected with the water here we have an example of the same athlete executing it correctly in fact i think very well and so you see here that the boat really doesn't move very much at all indicating the athlete's well connected to the water before the drive phase commences it requires patience at the catch to get that blade in, well connected, before the drive. So lift the hands up, put the blade in, get it deep and buried, and then commence the drive without essentially kicking the boat backwards. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to do consistently. And here we have the same athlete undertaking a number of strokes with the line appearing for each of them. And as you can see, some of them are a lot better than others when it comes to the level of check that's in the boat at the catch. So I suggest work on it and watch it very carefully. Watch a part of the boat, for example, like in this case, the stroke coach or the, where the riggers are on the boat. Watch it against an external object and see how it moves. If you need to, just hold your finger up and watch it by putting your finger up and watching the boat move against your finger. If you can get the strokes like this one, so it's well connected early on, and do that consistently, you will get a really good outcome. Now here we've got the same footage, but without the line. So I suggest just watch it, and now your mind is attuned to what we're looking for, uh, watch what's happening to the boat. Watch it at every stroke, and you'll see some strokes are good strokes, some strokes are less good, simply by how far that boat checks at the catch. So I'd suggest watch it carefully, watch it all the time, and tell the athlete when they've got it right each time and so they can make the change. Remember, the critical step is to get the blade in and well connected before the drive phase. And if you can achieve that, you'll achieve a fast boat. So you want to 
In other words, you won't backload the stroke, which you put the power on the back end of the stroke. It doesn't mean you don't push at the beginning, of course. It doesn't mean you're only using your body. It just means that you've got to get connected to the water first before you push. And when you push, you don't try and kill that foot plate in the first flat that far. Otherwise, the boat's going to go backwards. And so it's a totally different feel, and you've got it, I think. I think you've felt it coming back along there. Is it put the blade in, I get connected, and then I put it on a wheelie! You with me? That's the way I'd describe it. Okay. So let's head back again this way. What I want you to do going back here is, is focus on that be relaxed. Sure, you've already got that. That's easy. When you come in, and you can do it with the oars on the water or close to the water, I don't think it matters. Um, and then when you come into the catch, <clears throat> I want you to put it in and put it in deep, like aggressive deep, and you want to put it in quick. There's a bit of a danger that because you're coming into the catch nice and relaxed and, and gentle, then there's a bit of a danger to be relaxed and gentle about putting the blade in the water. Well, we don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to put the blade in really quick. So come in nice and gentle, don't upset the boat, put the blade in really quick, and then you wait for the load, and then and actually what you want to do if you can is you want to have a little quick movement of the legs to just get to feel the water and then get the connection and then you accelerate from there so it's it's really a slow movement fast movement slow movement and so you just got to remember that you put the blade in quick all the time okay then yeah, let's just practice that now so remember nice and relaxed put the blade in deep and quick and feel for the load get connected to it and then accelerate it through from there okay. and once you've got the load connected and you've started to accelerate then you can really accelerate there's no you don't have to hold back but that first little bit you've got to pick it up first before you push you want to stop for a sec then do you feel the load how does what's the load feel like okay yeah and then you, as soon as you feel that movement then you can start to push and probably by the time you tell yourself, if you feel that movement, I'd start pushing straight away. Because uh, it's a bit like uh, driving a car. You're coming into a set of lights and they go red. How long does it take you to get your foot on the pedal to stop? There's a time frame that by the time you think about it, get it happening. So if you put the blade in and you feel you move, start pushing, okay? And you'll be right on time. All right, let's try it again. You want to stop for a sec? But I want to do the same thing, but this time I want you to put more power on. Okay, but I want to remember, really relaxed, super important. Get that connection, get connected first, and then I want you to put more power on. I want you to sort of really try and drive that boat hard from that point. Okay, but feel for that connection first. All right, see if we can make it go fast. Did you get that concept of put the blade in first, get connected, and then build the power? Remember, feel for the load, relaxed, and then push it! Like that, yeah!